Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today we are going to be using our Raspberry Pi to create a time lapse video. So let's get started. So guys, I have a really cool collaboration coming up with TechWiz Time. So what I'm going to be doing is actually sending him this sentry safe along with a bunch of goodies inside. The only catch is that I'm not going to be sending him the key. The only thing I'm going to be doing is taking a picture of this key and sending it to him and it's up to him to 3D print a key from the picture. So if you want to check that video out, go subscribe to his channel and I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. So if you haven't done so already, hit the little subscribe button on this channel and also that little bell so you know when the next video is going to be out. Also follow me on social media and that's where I post a lot of behind the scenes and upcoming video ideas on those platforms. So check it out. So to begin, we are going to be using a Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter what version, it could go from version A all the way to zero. We're also going to need a camera module. Now if we are going to be using the camera module for the Raspberry Pi Zero, just make sure you have that extra ribbon cable for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, before we begin, we got to make sure that we are using the latest version of Raspbian and it's Pixel right now and all its updates. So remember to get the app get update and everything. So the first thing we need to do is to head over to preferences and Raspberry Pi config. And make sure that the camera or SSH and VNC is enabled if you want remote access to it, which you will need because we're going to be actually encoding all the JPEG files into a video format using the Raspberry Pi hardware. So uh, we definitely need access to the device after we finish taking the time lapse. And the method that I have chosen for today's tutorial is basically a set and forget type method. We're going to be using crontab which is Linux version of scheduler like you would find on Windows. So basically we're going to be inputting a command in um, crontab which will automatically execute a command at certain intervals. So now that we have everything all set up, uh, everything's updated, and if you guys are interested in how I got this desktop to look the way it is, I have a video up, a uh, previous video, that will show you what I'm using and how I got this up. Okay, so to begin, um, we're going to need to grab some software so we could use the hardware from the Raspberry Pi. So I'm not going to remember everything off the top of my head, so I'm just going to head over to my website, which I have all the codes up. And if you guys haven't known it, I actually just started a shop. Uh, I've been uploading cool stuff to it. This is my new Raspberry Pi hoodie, which right here says 314. And if you actually spun it backwards, it actually spells out Pi, which is pretty cool. So if you guys are interested, go check that out. It does help the channel out. It does help me out when you purchase those things. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what we need to do. So first off, we're going to need to grab software sudo apt-get install debian keyring sudo su Now we're going to grab the keyring server. Have to put two dashes there, but I'm going to fix that on my website soon. sudo paste and I got to do There you go. Again, I'll update this on my website. I forgot to put the two dashes in there as I'm typing it. Now, sudo apt-get update. All right, now that the hard part's done, and that wasn't really too hard, we're gonna meet to make a folder called time-lapse. That way we have an area to store all our photos. So let's do make the time-lapse. So if I ls, you know it's going to be my home directory and it's in time lapse. I'm going to head back over to my downloads folder because that's where I'm downloading the script. And I am going to do a git clone http 
github.com nova spirit and it's going to be called pi time lapse so here it grabbed a file called time lapse so i'm going to do sudo ch mod to make it executable time lapse so basically it is going to save all our pictures to this area where we made the file call, folder called time lapse. And I'm actually going to change it up a bit. Uh, I am going to add height, which is 1280, and width, I mean, height of 720 and width of 1280. Or you could do 1080 if you want. I'm going to save this and I'm going to move it over to somewhere where I'm going to remember. So basically I'm going to do MV time lapse user bin sudo obviously. So I'm going to move that over and now I can add this to our cron tab. So it basically executes every time we plug it in. So let's clear this up and I'm going to type in cron tab dash E for edit. And here is where you could set up all your settings that you need. Uh, you could do five minute, one minute, 10 minute, hour, any, any interval you want. But I'm gonna be taking a picture every minute. And that's the lowest you can go. You can't do 30 seconds or something like that. The lowest it goes is a minute. So one, two, three, four, five. Basically that stands for one, every minute I am gonna execute this command. So I remember I saved it as, so I'm gonna do sh user bin time lapse now sh two and one so it doesn't execute doesn't print out the now that everything's all set up i'm just going to watch this directory as it fills up with time lapse videos so i'm just going to do watch ls and there we have it our first photo and after a minute it's going to take our next photo All right, uh, for now we have enough pictures to play around with. So let's get out of this. Here's the next step now. Now that we have taken all our pictures, we are gonna go ahead and actually organize them and convert them into a time-lapse video. Now, if you wanna check, you can actually just go into your file manager, time-lapse and see what photos you have. And that's, you know, me in my basement. And, uh, I mean, Nerd Cave. And what we have to do here now is actually reorganize all these pictures into a number format that our little GST launch application would understand. So here I have this quick little command. And basically, I'm not even going to grab the bash yet, but you'll see what I mean. As soon as I paste this, you notice it's actually going to do this command called move, grab anything that's this, and then change it to 00, 001, 002, 003. So as soon as I pipe this into bash, it's going to execute that command. So now if you take a look, I have all these files, 001, 002, 003, 004. So here is our next command, basically. We're going to grab this. Paste. So basically, let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, we changed it to a format with the, uh, it, which is a four digit format. And it's explained over here with the percent zero four digit. And basically, I am going to use this program called GST Launch Multi File source, source Location, which is four digit format JPEG and the index of one. So it's uh, one, two, three, like that and it'll increment itself. And then we're gonna change it. Uh, the input format is basically image JPEG. We want the frame rate to be 24. Let me see if I can stretch this out a little bit, but it should say 24 to one. And it's the JPEG codec um, MOX, that's the encoder that we're gonna be used. And at the end, it's gonna be the location, it's gonna be called time lapse. And there we have it. Once we're done, we should have a file called time lapse AVI. And it's not much, but it should basically be all these images that we just stitched together. 
Okay, now that we went through the whole process of installing the software, uh, taking the images, and turning it into a time lapse, how are we going to fetch the files? In any of your machines, um, you could download a software called WinSCP. This is the best way to actually transfer the files out. So here I have 192.168.105.72, which is my Raspberry Pi uh, IP address. It's going to connect right into my Raspberry Pi. And from here, since I have a folder called time lapse, I basically have my time lapse AVI. I'm actually going to just save this right into my documents folder. So I'm going to download it. And if I pull it up, this should show a quick four second video of the time lapse. So here I'm going to show you a time lapse of what I recorded a couple of days ago with a couple of guys taking down my shed. Well, it took them two hours, but it turned out to be a four second video, but it came out to be really cool. Now I like to use this type of software, uh, maybe for gatherings or parties, or if I'm doing like a long type of project, I want to record the outcome. So this actually came out way much better than I thought. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. It is more important now that YouTube changes the algorithm and everything that the like button is smashed all the time. If you guys got any questions, please hit it in the comments below. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.